how to import wave accounting data to QuickBooks. So right here, we're going to go to wave, log in into your account. And from the top right corner, we want to click on our name here and then go to business settings. Now from this left hand side here, we want to scroll all the way down until we see other and data export. Once we select it, then we will see this accounting export all, all transactions for Excel or, ex or export all transactions as CSV. We want to choose this option here. We can also do Excel, but I'm going to show you with CSV here and it will show us this export request received to send an email with a link to download your file. Now I'm going to open up my email address here and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, so the email address itself or the email that I received looks like this and we're going to click on download data export and it's going to give us this zip file. So I'll just open this up and I'll right click and I'll extract the file here. So this will give me all of the different, um, you know, files, as, as, uh, CSV files. So now I'm going to go to QuickBooks. And here we want to use the search bar to search for import data. And we're simply going to click on this import data here. And it will show us this bring your existing data into QuickBooks. So as you can see here, I have accounting bill, bill items, customers and vendors, and you will see this option. So basically we want to match it. So for example, I'm going to go to customers here and it will show us this select csv file or excel file to upload so i'll just click on browse and here i'm going to go to downloads and i'm going to select the file for customers and it's going to look like this now i'm going to click on next here and it will show me the name so i can type out the name here so for example net or basically you have to match all of this information here so let's just choose another one here. Uh, and basically after you have typed out all of this information, then you will click on next again and you will import this and you will have to repeat the same process for all of the different um, sections that we have exported here. So for example, for vendors here, we will choose suppliers. For bills, we will choose the bill items here and the accounting, we can do bank data. So that's how you do it. I hope this helps you out. Leave a like and sub and I'll see you next time.